Hey, what's up, guys? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Still checking out the Kaizen CTF, uh, looking at some of the last of the networking challenges. This very last one was called IP in a Haystack, and uh, it was worth 200 points. Uh, it didn't seem too difficult for me because I feel like I, I knew the tool that I needed to be able to get this done. So uh, the question here is, identify how many IP addresses in this file fall within the CIDR range the IP address is paired with. For example, if the following CRDR IP address ranges, we can see that some of the IP addresses fall within the range and some do not. So we're supposed to submit the number of IP addresses that fall within the range as our answer. So because of that, it does not follow the regular Kaizen flag format. So we're given this zip file that has... Uh, this ip.txt file list of a bunch of things here. So let's create a ip in a haystack. Let's kind of create a file a folder for it and save it. So back in our shell, we can take a look at it. ip in a haystack, unzip that archive, and now we've got that ip list.txt, which has a bunch of those ip addresses and their range. So now we can totally just see how we can scrape through it. So I think the best way to do this is with the IP address module in Python. I'll show that off for you here. If you haven't heard of it before, it's a really cool library and module that just lets you work with it IP addresses and determine, like, okay, number of bits, number of bytes stuff, uh, is it within a certain range, a certain subnet, what version is it, stuff like that. So it's really cool. Um, honestly, I honestly just, like, had to Google Python, check if address is in range, something like that, or if IP address is there. And you can see the Stack Overflow thing that's got some code for it, um, but the next line is really, really interesting, where they just use the IP address module, and there's a Boolean test, like, is IP address in some network with a given CIDR range? So this is, looks exactly like the line that we need. I can just literally copy this out. So let's start to crank some code out that'll work with it. Um, attacker.py, and now I'll start to write it here. Let's get our shebang line, bin environment, Python, I'll import IP address, and we'll open up our IP list dot text contents equals handle dot read, handle dot close, so for line and contents dot read lines, we can say address and CIDR equals um, that line and it's split by a space, right? So it's okay to just run that line just fine. And we can test if the IP address address is in that CIDR range. And if it is, we'll increment a counter, which we can start with zero, and we'll just increment it up. And then once we're done, we can print out that counter, and we should be good. So let's mark this as executable, start to run it, and oh, I have a typo on my shebang line. My bad. Now here we go. String has no object read lines. Oh, contents. Uh, I suppose I could just use read lines here for line and contents. And now we're working, and okay, so it asks, this range does not appear to be a valid IP address or range that you want to pass in, or instead of a Unicode object. So we have to specify our uh, addresses should be passed in as Unicode objects. For whatever reason, the IP address module likes them that way. There's nothing wrong with it, I don't think. I mean, we can just pass them in that way, and we should be able to run now. And it does not seem to be an address. Oh, oh, I have it mixed up. The CIDR is first, and then the address. Now we're running. We're on business. And we get a certain number, 36,450. <laughs> and that's our solution, right? We can just go ahead and paste that in and get our flag. That is how we solve this challenge. Really simple. Pretty cool, simple script. Literally just running through all of them and just doing a simple test using the IP address module in Python that already does all the hard work for us. It just determines if an address is in that CIDR range. So, easy. <laughs> If you haven't heard of that module before, IP address, it does come in handy. So I'd put that in your back pocket, add it to your toolkit, you know, have another notch on the belt. So easy flag, easy 200 points, and we're all done with that networking session for the uh, Kaizen CTF. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll see you in a later video.